Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this New Year's Day matchup. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the New England Patriots, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They're led out by one of a few North Dakota State alums at QB in the NFL, a fifth-rounder back in 2019, Easton Stick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First down and they stick with Eckler. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Big Christian Barmore was there on the tackle. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Stick back to pass. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. This is gonna be a corner route to their tight end, and I'll tell you what, it's man coverage, so that makes it hard for a linebacker to stay with him. And he's able to make the catch on the right side of the field and pick up the first down. So into Pat's territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Eckler now between the tackles. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Here's second and seven. They're gonna go play action now with Stick. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and two.
They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Evades the tackler and now some space. Still going. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. 36 yards for Austin Eckler. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. And they're brought out by just the second Western Kentucky alum to start a game at QB in the NFL. In his second season, Bailey Zappi. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 43, here's second and a couple. Zappi going to bootleg out. He finds Douglas complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Second and short, that's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Another throw coming for Zappi. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I know retirement ceremonies are rocking chairs often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> On first down, here's Zappi. Short pass caught by Henry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. This is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry from 21 yards away. And the Patriots are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, 
It was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. the kicks away returnable here for Davis and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Chargers get set to go here for their second drive and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown and confidence is powerful isn't it when you scored once you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again doesn't matter what the defense throws at them they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. First and 10, stick. A little short pass. This is Everett calling a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 28-yard line. Now a toss, running left, Eckler. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. Running on first down, Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On second down, Eckler, and he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Stick from the gun. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted, and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And Zappi to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Douglas. Short completion, just four yards. And now it's third and four. Game of four. 
Zappi back to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. And shedding through the tackle. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Charger drive about to get going. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. the middle with Eckler. Oh, nice move. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. A shotgun throw for Stick. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete certainly look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. So the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Stick looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 29-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. It's Eckler again. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chargers have taken the lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Thank you. 
Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So the Patriots coming out now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 27. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up second and seven. Zappi. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Zappi on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10 as they've got it as we resume action. Stevenson now on first and 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. This second and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll work down inside the 45. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now Zampi will go to the air. That'll be caught by Parker. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this down to the 36. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Powering forward. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Zappi off play action. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Austin Johnson gets the sack defensively. 
Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. That is caught by Smith Schuster. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 12 yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And this is where play action can be so effective. Your running game's been the driving force on this possession. So as a defense, you start shifting your focus towards stopping the run. But if an offensive coordinator sees that, he can take advantage and they get good yardage there. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. This goes to the goal line. You got to be very careful with the offense called rub routes. When I call a pick, trying to screen you off from your coverage, does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the shotgun, Zappi. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll throw again with Zappi. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already. And while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Looking to throw Zappi. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal of the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. Now Zappi. Touchdown! Juju Smith-Schuster. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are an extra point away from evening this one up. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw, and the defense, they had no answer for that right there. Now Ryland for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaims center stage. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runner. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. Here's second and three. Three. 
Once more, here's Eckler. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 126 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his O line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Stick back to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett third catch of this first half for him and this one is a first down off play action it's stick now a loose football the ball comes out and it's picked up by the Patriots and they have the football and will take over at the 24 yard line we know he's got the speed to get downfield Charles but there's the negative side a little loose with the football that time and that's normal especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in all quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 24. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Going deep here for Parker. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And that one on the rookie, Charles, maybe a little too overeager. You know how many times you about the quarterback having to have a clock in his head and make sure the ball gets away before the rush gets there? When you're a pass rusher, you have to know when the ball is gone and make sure you don't hit the quarterback afterwards. I know he was trying to make a play, but that time, he ends up drawing the flag. Zappi's throw into the hands of Henry here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. 
The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Back to Stevenson on first down. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now Zappi. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. The 25 yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Here's Zappi. That is caught. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 18. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Zappi looks to throw it. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Ten more there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Another throw coming for Zappi. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Two incompletions, haven't moved him any closer, and likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick here is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust them. And now look at him go. And he's going to be out of bounds. 
runs right at midfield. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to float this one deep right side. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half throw on the football by quarterback Bailey Zappi. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Team 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. This taken in right around the goal line. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Well, the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On first down, here's Zappi. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. And Zappi to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Stick looking to throw. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Stick. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside. 
inside the 25. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second down, it's stick. His throw incomplete. Intended receiver there was Donald Parham, but now it's third down. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Stick looks to throw. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. A shotgun throw for Stick. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Keaton Allen, the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. Stick looks to throw it again. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Easton Stick taking it in from seven yards away and the chargers have retaken a third quarter lead if you're going to put quarterback in the nfl you've got to have great vision and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket both of those traits are on display there he surveys the situation sees the middle of the field open so he's just going to step up and take it himself very well done there Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that will make this a four-point game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. New England's offense set to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Zappi. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A give for Stevenson, running right. 66 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Second down at four. Zappi back to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll look to throw. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Back to throw now in his own end zone. A little short pass. This is Everett. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the six-yard line. He'll look to throw. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he's got it up to the 13. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. On the give, this is Eckler. Evades him at the 20, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Second and seven. They'll look to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The result only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third down and three. It's Eckler. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. 
First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. I think a lot of time when you see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Zappi and the Patriots come up here, first and 10, at their own 20-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. But you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds Parker. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 38-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Straight ahead at Stevenson. 98 yards rushing for him now to this point. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Second down, Zappi. It's complete to Parker, left side. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Zappi to throw on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Douglas. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now second and three. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. And even 20 yards for Ramondre Stevenson. And the Pats have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, 
Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second and six, just inside the 30. Off play action, it's Stick. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Jawan Bentley, the one to get in and finish off the play. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for L.A. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And take it right on the 30. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's across the 45, it'll be second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest game. From the 46, here's a second and seven. They run once more with Stevenson, and a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This time it's third and three. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. 
didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to be, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down. It actually aids the defense in that situation. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. Running left is Stevenson. Gets by him at the 25. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. And that's a tired defense out on the field right now. They desperately need a stop to get the ball back to their offense, but they're having trouble getting that done. Another gut-wrenching run right there. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Zappi going to bootleg out. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Brown. Touchdown. Patriots get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession and the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Stick back to pass. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On second and ten, it's stick. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now back to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. But you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And he'll be taken down, but not before he 
gets into enemy territory. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Stick from the gun. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now stick. And he'll find Everett there, complete. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Second down and three. On the option, here's Eckler. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Running on first down, Eckler, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's Stick looking to throw. And he's got it. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. <laughs> Stick looks to throw. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Patriots ready to get the football back. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for...
for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the gun, it's Stevenson. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. He continues to be dominant running the football. I mean, keep feeding him, right? Yeah, you should because what he's put up already is really like a two-game total. Give him a lot of credit, but give the rest of the offense credit as well. The big guys up front and the receivers on the perimeter, everyone's getting involved blocking people downfield. First and ten, Zappi. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Douglas. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. It would likely put an end to this thing. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Let's run, baby. Let's do our thing. Let's do Let's our thing. Let's thing, baby. They'll come up facing third and five. Now Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. Second and 11 now. Now a handoff, Stevenson, and he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Are we all 
just got a heck of a show party. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win?